what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena if you all do not know who I am my name is Amani Jelena and I'm the owner of Allure 96 hair and lash where we sell quality products I also have opened my doors up to drop shipping and wholesaling so if you are interested in starting your own business and or brand and you need a uh, quality product hair definitely shoot me an email my email is right below and we can get the ball rolling for your business aside from that I also help many 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 women start and build a successful brand so if you are interested in setting up a coaching call with myself because you don't really know the next move to make as far as your business definitely go ahead and schedule a coaching call with me coaching calls has been going amazing I'm super excited that I opened the doors up as far as coaching calls go definitely shout out to all my regular coaching call ladies that I do speak with on a regular basis last but not least go ahead and follow me on all of my different social media sites like Instagram um snapchat all that good stuff because I have become super active follow me on all of my social media sites and you can kind of keep up with me as far as that go also I'm gonna have a poll right at the top of this and the poll is going to be about vlogging do you guys are you guys interested in like seeing my day-to-day -day life as far as business goes and business moves and boss moves and when I'm in meetings and all that good stuff if you guys are interested in getting a glimpse of my life as far as a weekly vlogging definitely put yes or no in the poll right above and then if we get enough yeses I'll definitely open my doors up to that so you can got so you guys can connect with me on more of a personal level and kind of um get to fully see me in action okay so we're just going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to dive right into the video now this video it's going to be about the things that they don't tell you about opening up a hair company or the things that it's very hard to find or what people don't normally speak about when opening up a hair company, a business, beauty business, beauty whatever, spa, all that good stuff. And I'm going to tell you guys the real. Opening up a hair business in the beginning is one of the most hardest things to do. For one, it's hard to find customers and keep them. So something that they don't tell you about owning a hair business, it takes time unless you have the juice which a lot of us don't, you know, it's okay. But if you don't have the juice, it's hard to get consistent sales. It's easy to make a sale. It's hard to get a customer back, but then it's hard to have consistent sales on a daily basis, okay? It's hard to get people to purchase from you. Even your family, like I know how crazy that sounds, like, but like even your family is skeptical, skeptical about your product. So when launching a business, be mindful of the time that you put into your business and be mindful of the time that your business has actually been born if that makes sense let your business grow let your business evolve into something amazing and don't specifically just focus on money because if you're focused on money your business is going to go nowhere if you genuinely don't really care about your product and you're just focused on the dollar figure you might as well kiss it goodbye and I feel like it, that's such a harsh way to say it but it's so true so definitely weigh out your options and realize this is something that you want to do and know as soon as you open your business you're not you're nine times out of ten you're not going to be making consistent sales so that is one of the hardest parts that people don't normally talk about okay the next thing would be money there's a lot of money that goes into the hair business there's a it's, it's never a one-way street it's always a two-way street no matter what you have to be able to purchase the product to resell to your customers so there's for me for instance I spend thousands and thousands of dollars weekly just to supply hair to sell you know? so definitely be mindful when it comes to photo shoots and promotions and marketing and um, packaging and all that good stuff that it takes a lot of money so in the beginning you're gonna spend a lot more money a lot more money than you even see coming in okay but it's all for a good cause so bear with me um eventually once you you stay consistent with your business and your posting and and you're shipping out orders on a consistent basis and getting orders to people's homes efficiently and all that good stuff your business has no choice but to grow when you start a business on the totem pole you're right here literally right here at this point your business can't do anything but keep moving up and keep moving up and keep moving up so just know whether you're getting sales or you're upset because you're not getting the sales that you necessarily want just know that your business can't do anything but grow 
So work for you, work for your business, invest in you, bank on you, and just watch your business just evolve into something so freaking amazing, okay guys? Another huge thing that people don't speak upon when starting a business is customers. Custom customers in the hair business, in the hair business are one of the nastiest people to deal with, especially an angry customer. My advice as far as dealing with a not so nice customer just because this is your business and your brand and you're not working for a corporate team yet and you're just working for yourself and this is just something that you're doing and your business and your boss and all this stuff always realize customers are the people who's paying your bills okay so ultimately whether a customer is nasty or you don't like the attitude that a customer is giving off always stay professional and always be understanding a lot of the times whether you want to admit it or not the customer is right 95% of the time I'm going to say but no matter what it is always treat your business like you're in a corporation never be rude never be nasty never hang up on someone never respond back to emails that is never like you should never do things like that so definitely be mindful is that realize you're going to deal with shitty customers let's just put it out there you're going to deal with shitty customers every blue moon once in a while once a year like it, it's going to happen but you just always have to realize this is what you do this is how you make your coin this is how your you and your family eats that you need to always stay on your a game and have your t's crossed and your i's dots and always be as professional as you can at all times okay realize that you are the walking billboard for your business you are the voice of your brand okay and what you do reflects your business okay so if you're a not so nice person that's the reputation that your brand is going to have but if you're a professional if, you, if you're definitely professional with your business and all that good stuff people will take your brand a lot more serious so definitely keep that in mind weigh out your options and always have your <laughs> what am i doing and always be the boss okay be the boss you're not the associate you're the boss so you got to act like it okay another thing that people don't talk about is the late nights the late nights do you know how many nights I have stayed up making sure a sale went through? Or do you know how many nights I've stay, stayed up to make sure the website looked presentable? Or do you know how many nights I've stayed up to make sure my clients get what they want when they need it? The long nights, they happen, but ultimately they're worth it. So don't, <laughs> don't expect for your business to just run off itself, to just run off air. It takes time and dedication to get to where you need to be. The average millionaire, and I'm sure some of you have heard me say this, the average millionaire has seven streams of income, okay? So you got to do what you got to do to be where you want to be. And if that consists of late nights, early mornings, that's what it is, okay? So the last thing that I do have to say is your brand is you. Your image is you. There's a lot of stuff that you're not going to know. There's a lot of stuff that you will know. But just know each day being a boss or each day owning your own business and brand, there's going to be a lot of hurdles to get over. But once you get over those hurdles, you're going to realize that it wasn't so bad. You know, you're going to realize that what you're doing is for an amazing cause and an amazing thing. So I love each and every one of you. I wish each and every one of your business success and wealth. But if you are stuck and you don't really know what's going on and you don't really know the next step you should take, definitely uh, schedule a coaching call with myself and we can get all that stuff figured out for you. But I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media sites. And I do have a webinar coming up so you can access all of that stuff right below. But I love each and every one of you and I will talk to you later. Bye!